Hello there, this is Dave Allen from Maxon Equations and today we're going to have a look at GPG because at the moment with Mountain Lion GPG is not supported in mail. You can still use GPG but you'll have to just do a few things a little bit different with mail. So let's see how we send an email with some encryption in it in GPG. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on this one here to send a new email and we're going to decide who we're going to send it to. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to set it up so that we're sending it to this person here. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to put your text into your message. I'm just going to put a note in there so the text is encrypted. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this text that I want to encrypt. Okay, now I'm going to go to the services, so I'm going to do a right click on that. Two finger tap on the trackpad, go to services. I'm going to tell it to encrypt selection. So I'm going to choose the person I want to encrypt it to. So that's that person there. And I'm going to encrypt it with this email here. I'm not going to sign it, I'm just going to encrypt it. So I'm going to click on OK. And that has encrypted the message. When George gets it at the other end there, what he's going to have to do is he's going to have to select that there. OK. Go to the right click again, go to Services. And then go to Decrypt Selection. So that's pretty easy, isn't it? So that's one way of sending a text message that is encrypted and use GPG. Now another way to do that will be instead to go to the thing here, start composing a new message. Use the same test one again. So what you can do instead is you can go to Finder and what I want to do is I want to just choose a small one here. So this is one here, it's only 6 kilobytes. And it's got all that text in there, so it's a good bit of text, but there's only small, so that's good. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to say to go to services and go to encrypt file. And we're going to send it to this person here again. Let's sign it, why not? Click on OK. The encryption has been done. And there it is, look. So there's the encryption at the top there, so you've made it actually smaller. So what I need to do is I need to put that into my mail application, into the mail that I'm sending out. So I'm going to drag this over onto Yoink, go to Mail, and I'm going to drag this off Yoink and put it into the mail. So basically the same sort of thing at the end of this when George gets this, what he's going to do is he's going to open the attachment and it should open up in uh, GPG. And so it gets verified there, look. Okay, let's try again, let's do another one. And we'll send it to myself this time. So let's go to Test. So this time what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to send it to myself encrypted to myself. So let's go back to our finder again. And this time we're going to grab it and let's go for what's new in iBooks author. It's a nice small one. I'm going to encrypt it, go to services, encrypt file. And this time I'm using this one here to encrypt it. And I'm not going to bother signing it this time and I'm going to click on OK. So I'm going to drag it over onto Yoink, go back to mail, put it into the message, decrypt that. Let's click on send. Okay, so there's the message, just come back in again. Click on that. Now that's asked me to put in my key phrase for that. So I'm just going to go and find my key phrase because I can't remember it off the top of my head. Okay, let's see if that's worked. Decryption finished. Lovely. But where's that file gone to that I just decrypted? I don't know. Well, that's not the way to do it then, is it? So I don't know where it's gone to from follow after I've uh, decrypted it. So. Let's get it this time. We're going to go to Save Attachment or Save to Downloads folder. So it's this one here. In fact, let's just put it into a separate folder just so we can just see it a bit clearer. Okay, so let's go to the desktop. Okay, so this is the file I'm going to decrypt. So I'm going to right click on it, go to Services, go to Decrypt File, and it's decrypted. Didn't have to put any codes in or any things because it's all on the GPG keychain. And there you go, I've got the file and it is decrypted. That's how to send some encrypted messages using GPG, even though GPG is actually working as a add-on within Mail in Mountain Lion. They have said at GPG that they're working on it and it's taking a little bit longer because of some of the things that are in the Mail in Mountain Lion, but at some point in time we'll be able to have that as a add-on within Mountain Lion again. Okay, so this is Dave Allen from Mac to Questions. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video, and why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. 
George Kensing. Bye-bye now.